ones with nitros. I'm just gonna make a little update on species. Um, you can't see them in there um, because I changed. I moved the male fishes and I put them back in here with the females. The females still are still pregnant and they still don't have their babies yet. I don't know what's going on. But in here, I put my other beta fish in here with the two baby guppies that I have over there. Sadly though, the 14 guppies that baby guppies were in here, I, it's just they didn't make it for some reason and stuff like that. Um, also, the water is clear because I I cleaned it, I you know, because it was getting disgusting because, you know, I kept feeding, I had to keep feeding them every, every day because of, you know, they're females and have babies. And they seem to calm down a little bit because they were not happy being moved a lot. I put my other beta in there as well. He's doing okay. He's hiding somewhere. I think he's, he's just hiding and stuff like that. Yeah, I had to clean this tank. It's getting really disgusting. This tank, I, uh, this tub tank I did. I did it yesterday. Yeah, and sadly though, my pump kind of didn't work anymore, so I had to get a new one. So I got this new one. This new pump right here. Yeah, I got a new pump right here. Um, the problem is with this pump is different. You have to... Um, go up, you gotta rapidly go up and down and let the water go, you know, suck up the water and it goes down and goes down the hole. Um, I think it, it didn't, it did help a little, but not that much because the water was not going down the tube. I don't know because, um, it's that tube, that, I think that filter is meant for, like, bigger tanks. And I don't have a bigger tank, I have a... A 5.5 gallon tank. No, well, maybe this will work in here, but right now the water is not as like high and stuff. But that's good for you know for the babies, the two babies I have, and they it sucks that the the 14 babies that I had in here they just didn't survive. Um, it's okay, or they probably got eaten because that's gonna happen because you know guppies do tend to eat the babies they don't mean to because you know they think that you know it's food for them but they don't realize it it's it's fine it happens i mean they're huge the females they're, they're really big like yeah they're like huge except for the males the males are really small oh, i'm very surprised they haven't really been bugging them yeah, and you think there's it 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 is a decent sized tank. S six, like six female versus. Yeah, we have six males and six females. Wow, even number six females and six males. Well, I don't. I gotta say five because I'm not gonna consider the the uh, other fish, the black one. It's not guppy, is a molly. So I don't think I should count that one. So yeah, so pretty much five, pretty much. So yeah, everything is good. Look at the fish tank; it's all nice and clear and stuff. Sorry, it's not bright because you know it's dark and stuff. And over here. You know, a little tub fish tank thingy. Even though um, I don't need this filter because if you have a beta fish, like they don't need filtration because they have a special sac in their body that they can they have like they can breathe without no oxygen. It's kind of it's kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, the filter I change all the. The filter and stuff, you know, the to you know to help out clean everything. Yeah, this tank gets dirty really quickly. Uh, this tank gets really, really, really dirty.
but surprisingly the water it doesn't look as bad as this water yeah so that's why you should always clean it i try not to clean this every day but i have to because you know i feed the the females all, all day but all, like every day because they're pregnant but like i do take a break feeding them it's just you know uh they're just not popping their babies out i just don't know i know they probably want like grass and i'm not grass like you know like plant and stuff to that but i mean <laughs> right now with the whole situation and stuff yeah it's pretty much um everything is closed you know stuff like that yeah so everything is good everything is fine it's working um so if you ever think about a doi like if you can't get a tank you can always get this just buy a filter and this it's not it's not a really bad setup or you can use a container like this like a big container for that um stuff like that problem is, I, I wish I could put, I wish male betas don't fight, fight each other to the death, because I would have loved to, you know, have a beta fish in the tank and stuff, but, you know, they tend to, um, you know, they tend to fight. It sucks. It really, it really sucks. Stuff like that. Maybe, maybe one day, maybe, maybe a bigger, a bigger pond, maybe? Not a pond. I wonder, can, can people put koi, I mean, beta fish in, in ponds, koi ponds, or regular ponds? Would they, would they still fight each other, or the place is just way too big for the males to fight? I wonder don't know well yeah that's the that's the update um yeah so yeah other than that good yep so have a good night